I'm Lady Juniper, and today I, I thought we could, could just hang out, chat a bit about uh, Nahida and her upcoming uh, event banner. It's pretty exciting, isn't it? I'm sure anyone watching this must have watched the um, the trailer about Nahida that was on at the weekend, I assume. <laughs> so I thought, I'm quite excited about Nahida. I mean, I've... I, I read the leaks uh, on Twitter, so I kind of knew what was coming beforehand uh, before they put it on YouTube. But seeing it in the trailer is really exciting as well. It was also really cool to see Mecha Mechascara. That was quite cool. Yeah, very excited for the next chapter of the story. I I was a little sad that we didn't get to see Kiva in the um, trailer. He is he wa he is rumored to be appearing in 3.3. Now, if you don't know who Kiva is, and I had someone yell at me on Twitter for spoilers, but Kiva, if you didn't know, <laughs> is a a character that is mentioned in the game. Ah, Kiva. But yeah, Kaver is a character that is mentioned in uh, several characters' um, profiles. So I know, I believe he's in Kole's. I don't think I have Kole to friendship. Level four. Oh, I do. So we can see what her one is. So Kaver is uh, Al Haytheim's roommate. That's who he's talking about here when he's referring to a stubborn roommate. He's talking about Al Haytheim. I think it's mention in Tanari's profile that he is Al Haytheim's roommate, I think. Or someone else's. But it's also all over Port Ormos. Um, the little squabbles and stuff. And it references the scribe and stuff. Um, so there's there's a lot of established information about Kaver already in the game. So it's no not spoilers, he exists. He's in all the profiles, um, and he's meant to be appearing in the next story, apparently. But I guess we won't know for sure until we play the story. I'm, I'm feeling like he won't be, because there's been like no leaks about what he looks like besides text. And I find it like we had like um, our pictures of Al Haytheim before he appeared in any trailers. So the fact that we don't have any pictures of Kava is a bit sus. It's a bit sus. So I'm thinking he might not be in the next pack, but uh, that's me getting distracted. <laughs> but yes, Nahida. Very exciting to see her. Just me doing the artifact run. But yeah, I'm quite interested to start um, Nahida. There's like um, a lot of theories on how she should be played. I think he's going to be a very versatile character because he can be played any style you really want. Like, if you want to play a burning team, you can do that with Nahida, apparently, because um, because she's a catalyst user and it, uh, she can reapply danger and thus make the um, burning keep going. And she has high, high EM, which means the burning does more damage. So, you know, it's <laughs> not big stretch to assume that she does really great with burning um, not that burning is a very good reaction anyway but it will be better with Nahida now one thing I'm interested in is more the um, catalyst side of her like I think all of her abilities are really really great uh, whether you play her on field or off field but the thing that caught my attention was the range of her catalyst and this interested me because, from what I could tell, she has a very similar range to Klee. Um, and I know one of the complaints people have with Klee is that she has a really short range when it comes to her catalyst uh, right click. And as far as I could tell, Nahida has pretty much exactly the same range as Klee. Like, that, that's the only way they're really comparable, the size and how far they can fire. I'm pretty sure that Nahida's burst goes pretty much that far away. And Klee doesn't get a lot of health. Nahida doesn't get a lot of health. And it's very, very clear from what we saw of the trailer, Nahida's hitting a 
about that far away, which means you're going to have to get right up and sent right up and close if you want to use her attack. Um, obviously, you've got her camera mode, which I'm not sure what the cooldown is on that. I think it's meant to be relatively low from what people are saying, rather than Cleese cooldown on her skill. But I think if you're going to want to play her as a right clicker, like an on field drive of reactions w without using her tri karma ability, you're going to have this this range issue. We're going to we're going to try it out. Um, I'm going to try it out when when I wish for her because I've got a guaranteed. We're going to compare her to Klee in in like the range aspect, not not ability aspect, on the range aspect, and we'll compare her to other catalysts about because whether or not you want to play her as like when you read her stuff it's like is she a dps i'm not entirely sure she can be a dps in the same sense that Sina is a dps i think um she'll be maybe a sub dps or an off-field support is gonna go, gonna be her role just because of the health health issues that she shares with Klee, is is the kind of feeling I get. Um, I've not heard anyone else. I watch a lot of YouTube videos on and analyzing stuff. Nobody's talked about the range of Nahida's attacks, and I don't know. Maybe they don't play Klee. Maybe they they haven't spotted the comparison because Klee is only the only small child uh, catalyst user we have. But I think it's totally fair to compare their attack range. So, so when the healer comes out and I get her, I will compare the attack range between her and Klee and the healths. I'll get her up to level 70 and we'll compare the healths. healths. And it may be the case that Nahida will have very similar issues that little Klee here has, that her health is quite small, her range is quite close, and she gets sidelined to a more supportive role because while well, Klee is a DPS, her, her Q is a DPS ability, she can only do it while she's on the field and she has a very short range. Um, if you have constellation, support Klee is, is, it looks really cool. I, I kind of want some of Klee's constellations because they sound good. <laughs> Like, I feel really bad whenever I use her Q because she just use it. It does lots of damage, but she like dies within seconds, which makes her hard to use on the field in um, Astral Abyss, where if you have a constellation, you get a big, you get a big buff to your team. So, but yeah, we'll, we'll compare, we'll compare her and Glee when um, she comes out next week. Let's uh, get our artifacts. I have. I did my artifact farm this morning because I wasn't sure I was going to do this today and I picked up some really great artifacts on the set I didn't want it on <laughs> which is you know always the case because I was going um Gilded Dreams not the Deepwood one for her because you want to build EM on her because you know Dendro you just want good EM that's, that's generally the rule and she um gives EM on her talent level, her level up stuff. So yeah, I, I've i got like, um, I'm almost full set for her on, on the Gilded. And today I pulled two very amazing Deepwood, Deepwood uh, artifacts. I'll show you them in, in a minute once I've, I've done my artifact run. Oh, what am I doing? I don't need to fight these. <laughs> I'm getting distracted here. You don't fight these ones. I have done this route so many times. I know the optimal way to do it. I know who you should fight and who you should just run past. Um, I have it down to a T. That little mistake there aside. I'm still enjoying Sino. This isn't Copia. <laughs> I'm very undecided um, whether or not I should wish a child. Like I want to, I want to wish on the next banner afterwards with child and um, oh dear, with child and Yamiko because I want Layla. 
think he looks really cool for a four star. But I don't know um, which banner to wish on. Should I accidentally get a five star? And it's like, do I get child? Or do I get Yamiko? It's a really hard choice. Because Yamiko has been made incredibly strong with the arrival of Dendro. And Child is just quite strong. Um, he, you always see these snapshots of Child doing ridiculous damage. And I don't have any issues with Child as a character. Um, for some reason, people online seem to have this really big thing against him. Um, which is weird. It's like a whole big... Oh, did I did I not pick that up? Did I did I fail to pick that up? This seems to be a really weird anti-child sentiment online. Oh, I don't really understand it. Like do people do realise he's just, you know, a character in a video game. Oh, you shouldn't pull him because he's a bad guy. I mean they have bad guys in Honka. I don't see people pulling that much of a fuss about that. We can play like the people that are out to genocide the human race. As far as I understand the story in Honkai, um, I haven't played that much of it. That seems to be what the Honkai story is. <laughs> Maybe I'll play more. I don't know. I didn't. It's very text heavy. Like I know Genshin is text heavy. But, like, I can just go explore the world when I don't want to do text-heavy stuff and do the quests when I want. Where Honkai, it's like, now you re must read lots to play the game. Cool. Cool, I guess. There we go. This, this route is great. All of the crystals, all of the resources... I don't need treasure hunter stuff, so we're just going to pick up the artifacts and run, please. There we go. And off we go. I feel like they 100% intended this route to be like um, a really fast artifact route for people to follow. Because you can just use these little star things to get all the way down it really quick and easy. And post progress to the next part like it's like this entire route is designed for artifact farming and resource farming because you've got a good spread of the uh, mushrooms a good spread of the emirates you've got some treasure hoarders um i think i've got all the resources i need so i'm not gonna fight those but I don't, I don't understand the anti-child sentiment. Um, that people get really aggressive about it. Um, there's nothing wrong about wishing for villains or enjoying villains. I think, like people enjoyed a character like Scar for for years. It's really weird how people are hating on the Harbingers. Being like, oh, it's really weird. You really like Dottori. Um, I don't really care about Dottori. Is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? I think the manga answered whether or not he's a bad guy. Uh, and all the experiments in the hospital. I feel like it's hard to say how bad he is. Because, like, it could just be it's very ethically questionable, right? He's an ethically questionable character. Like, I don't, actually, I don't think Child is an ethically questionable character. Uh, I don't just don't think Child cares. He just wants to win, don't he? So, I don't know if I'm, I'm going to go for Child or Yamiko. It's a hard choice. Because the way you got Child, I could run him with the national team. That would be quite good. But Yamiko would be incredible with Nahida. Let's just face it, she has really good on field uptime and really good burst. I mean, she's pretty much a five star um, official in many ways. 
Oh, I know people get really frustrated with her skill. But that's not the hard, I don't think that's a game changer for me. It took me so long to do this world quest. I bet I bet many others probably feel the same because oh it's so hard to do this area while it's invested with invested with the Maris, Marisma or whatever you want to call it. Oh, there we go. Come here you two. I had hoped to not have to do this. Oh, I'm sure this guy has resistance to electricity. Oh. <laughs> so no, no. He's good, I swear. He's a good character. Don't pick on him. He's my precious boy. <laughs> no. Casua, please. Where'd they go? Oh my god. I, I killed the lightning ones. Nope. Nope. Love it. I have some thoughts about the sapwood blade. I don't know it's meant to be a really good free to play weapon, but I'm I feel like I disagree. That it's a good free to play weapon on the grounds that um, I next to never pick up that leaf. Look, I have to you have to run all the way over here to get it. And like sometimes a lot most of the time it gets stuck underneath an enemy. So you can't get it anyway. The buffs are like eight seconds. Like I don't really get the really short duration buffs, honestly. But it means you have to have a really tight rotation. I know no bless gives like plus eight on attack or something. Oh no, not plus like uh, it has a ten second thingy on Go away, leave me alone. I don't, I'm not a big fan on these really short buffs because the, the 10 seconds or the whatever, it's not very long. I, there are no characters that are really designed to be on field for very long, which is, which is why quick, quick swap is, is the meta, isn't it? It's, you quick swap into characters because the characters are be are built to be swapped in and out of quickly which means it's like this is why a character like Sino is not as good as a character like Jing because Jing is a quick shot swap character with a really short cooldown on her abilities and Sino has to be on the field for 18 seconds by which case all the buffs are run out and they haven't really made any characters that have really long durations on their abilities like you've got um Zhongli and Albedo and that's about it for really long duration like um official Oz I think 12 seconds most of the shields are 12 seconds um I did check this like I went f through them for um seeing who would go well with Sino in Abyss and Noel and Jin Yan have the longest shield so like Toma I think comes close no his shield's eight seconds so Toma you can't synergize at all with um Sino his, his shield's too short Jin Yan her shield is um 12 seconds and so is Noel's so they synergize a bit better I've tried um, is it overcharge on the electric and, and, and pyro. I think it is uh, electric charged um, Zyna. It works fine. Like this is like, this is what I'm doing in the abyss currently because there's not enough Dendro characters to run two Dendro teams that I have. Like you could do it, Kole on one team and um, Graveler on the other, but you really need Kole and Traveller to work together a lot of the time. Kole, I just I don't feel like she does enough on her own. Like she does really good when she's with Traveller. Oh, well, at least I think so. I feel like this is a wasted. Yeah, uh, I mean it's a bug. Good for leveling up Hazo. 
I don't need any books currently to level up Hazel. I just like um not to mention, but check it out. No more scarab hunting for me. I got them all. He can level up to level ninety when I have spare books, or I don't know. Um, when he gets it naturally through XP, which is what I'm currently kind of doing. It's very expensive. My life being a cyano main, trying to find stuff that synergizes well with him. But yeah, I've been running here with uh, Zinyan and Bennett with um, Kazua in Spiral Abyss, and it works quite well because, and you do need Kazua to make it work well because, um, because Zinyan does off field um, pyro if you can hit more than two enemies with her shield but my my Xinyang can do that i don't think oh, now i have to check yes okay so leveling up you need two opponents to do the off field uh, um, pyro application um Xinyang, i kind of lots of people don't play her i mained her for a very long time on my account so i know how exactly how to play her and she plays her best if you group up enemies she's not very good but she's a very powerful burst and her shield can do okay damage but she is at her best if you can group up the enemies so venti or kazua um is kind of what you need to do that you want, well you don't necessarily need that uh, pyro application but for like sino um it works I, I can't remember how many applications you get i think you get like three or four over charges with it so it works out pretty all right and with constellation 2 you get the shield on the alt which is pretty pretty solid i think yeah i'm getting i'm getting distracted <laughs> we're gonna be talking <laughs> about little orcus not um builds the sino though um Nahida will be a great support for sino so sure oh no oh no oh no no <laughs> too short but yeah i let, let me show you the artifacts i've i've got and it's two sets currently in existence that you can run on on the lesser law Kisnali, and that's obviously um guild of dreams and deepwood memories are the two sets you can build on her i started building a guild of dream set uh because uh, she wants elemental mastery and it gives a lot of elemental mastery so i got this piece i thought it would do good um i got two rolls on crit rate and i think i roll into attack <laughs> and nothing into elemental mastery and i was like oh well at least it has elemental mastery um i have this piece um i think it rolled once into elemental mastery so i think this is an okay cup for her i've got this piece which i did have on diona also <laughs> has not been rolling into elemental mastery has so far rolled twice into crit damage wow what terrible luck i have <laughs> i know right ideally you want an em piece on this one whatever this is i can't remember what it is which uh, barbara has this one which is i think in my best one um, so I might steal this piece of Barbara. Circle. I mean, you don't, I don't have to go circle it. You need crit rate. I'm guessing you want crit damage for the headpiece. Because I believe she gets a lot of um, crit rate through her talents, I think. Next we have our, our deeper dream ones. I wasn't going to steal any off of people i don't think that was my plan 
Oh, this one's a pretty good one to steal, but it doesn't have any EM. Oh, I could steal this one. Good elemental marshy one. Oh, golly. This is a potential. I don't think she's going to need the crit rate, though. This is the only thing. Ah, I think this is the one I got today. This piece. Um, I don't have enough fodder to level it up. Might have enough to get another couple levels now. Play the old art of that bingo. I was like, oh, this is crit rate and crit damage and elemental marching. It rolled energy recharge. It's a perfect piece. No dud stats. Everything useful. I'm so close. I have so many artifacts I could probably burn. I'm so bad at picking which ones to get rid of, though, because they all look so useful to me. Oh, that's a terrible piece. It's a terrible. Okay. What do you roll into? Energy recharge, of course. Of course. We can't have any elemental mastery. <laughs> We'll have to see what the last one was into. That's, that's my farming project for this week. The problem with these is this that these stats are terrible. But but getting elemental mastery is so difficult. It's like I can't throw it away, can I? You can you can supplement the circlet for an elemental mastery piece if it's got good stats for um Nahida. Um stat wise, um crit damage and crit rate is interchangeable with elemental marshy for her like you you can build her em 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 but once you get over a thousand em you don't really need any more em and as long as you have one person in the party who has a thousand em you technically don't need to get her beyond like 800 em because of her passive talent her one of her talents gives um people a percentage of the em oh this this is probably the one i'm gonna have to roll go elemental mastery if i could get crit rate on this i need like someone who knows what they're doing to go through these and just bin bin all the ones that are terrible i feel like i've got a better one than that so let's waste all my five stars oh i honestly cannot for the life of me remember what i've been talking to myself about for like the last half an hour or so so uh <laughs> hopefully it's entertaining to you but yeah in in summary i'm i'm looking forward to nahida i'm looking forward to her when she comes out, I will do a comparison to her catalyst abilities compared to Klee, because I think range-wise, she's very similar to Klee. Abilities-wise, of course, she's not similar to Klee, obviously. But I do feel like the range thing, because it affects how people use Klee, will affect how people want to use Nahida. And it's something to keep in mind, because I've not, I've not heard anyone talk about this, and I think it will affect her playstyle. I do have, besides my artifacts, I do have, I think, enough materials to get up to level 70 at least. I mean, I'm lacking these, but you're going to get these when you farm the boss anyway. So it's, it's not a deal breaker. And I'm not 100% sure what her talent material is. I think it's these. Which might be enough to get her all her talents up to level six. I could have checked this. I haven't. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so when she comes out, we will be doing wishing session. Um, unfortunately, it won't be a very exciting wishing session because I'm already at pity 53. I tempted fate with Nilu. Um, I, I really wanted to get my C6 Barbara. And instead I got a C4 uh, Beido for my trouble. That is what it is. <laughs> and I also wanted to get more Candice constellations. And instead I got a C6 cookie. So, I 
got really crazy lucky. So yeah, it's, I imagine when I wish for Nahida, it's going to be one or two pulls unless she decides to come late. But I've got plenty of wishes for her. So what's going to happen? <laughs> Our next episode with Juniper. Uh, we're going to wish for Nahida. We're going to try her out. Uh, we're going to compare her with Klee and the other Catalyst users. And then I will build her. And in the, the following week, I will do a what an average an average Nahida could look like. What a Nahida would look like on you standard people's accounts. Because, again, <laughs> I don't have a beginning artifacts to, to compare. But in all, all fairness, um, these are two new sets. So I think most, most YouTubers don't have fully built sets with crazy stats for Nahida, I imagine. So I think most, most should be quite accurate to performance-wise, but we'll see, we'll see. So I'll leave it there. Uh, thanks for listening. Please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this. It helps me know that you have enjoyed the video, or at least someone out there has enjoyed the video, and I'm just not talking to nothing for half an hour. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, next time. Um, try try one of the other videos that pop up here. Uh, go watch my Bose Only Challenge where you can listen to me slowly go insane while I play Amber because I have no other Bose on my account. <laughs> uh, bye, guys.